part contains strong language from the outset and throughout. What is that? A frog. Oh! <laughs> Don't let it in. <laughs> I should have locked you out. Oh my God. How's that come in the garden? We haven't got a pond. There's a pond now at the back, isn't there? Talia's out of bed, but she's struggling to do anything without being in pain. So at the moment, it looks like it's going to be me taking care of everyone. I'm sick of being fat. So am I. You're not even fat. I'm wearing your boxes because my knickers don't fit me. I'm wearing your knickers. <laughs> <laughs> There's no shot there. <laughs> you when only you're... do that on me on a Saturday. <laughs> If Talia thinks I wear her knickers on a Saturday, she is very much mistaken. I wear them on a Thursday and Friday, especially when I'm doing the housework. What would you say the hardest part of, obviously, being at home with the kids? And he's non-stop from the minute, from the minute he wakes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's enough. I think once the rest of his teeth yeah. are through... Like, with teething comes, like, the nappies as well. Like, the amount of poos he does in the day was unbelievable. Mm. Good boy. The last few weeks, I've had a real insight to Talia's life at home while I'm away training, and I'm not going to lie, it's hard work. I've seen enough shitty nappies to last me a lifetime. It's probably harder for you, isn't it, that I'm home? Because you've had to look after me and the baby as well. I think it will be better when I can walk a lot better. I think, obviously, we've had a kind of a step back, I think. You know, like, with having this C-section. Well, it wasn't what you had planned, was it? Come no. here, then. Good it's lad. been some time, and I'm still not back on my feet properly, where with him, I was next day, I was fine. The recovery of this C-section is taking a lot longer than I expected. I'm in a lot of pain, I've got an infection for where they cut me, and it's so frustrating, I just want to be back to normal and helping Aaron where I can. <laughs> oh. Calm down, you. Oi, oi, calm down. What's the <laughs> hmm? What are you getting upset for? Nothing, it's just annoying that I can't just go back to normal straight away. And I will tell you, it's... But like, even the food shop, I'm like, I'm in sore, I'm sore now. <laughs> I can't physically just get up and, and walk around after what you've had done. Get on your feet too early, then you might end up back in hospital. I think because I'm so used to doing everything and then someone else trying to do it, everything for me. It's not nice seeing Talia upset because I know what she's been through, but all I can do is be there and support her as much as I can. I'd better be something wrong if I couldn't do everything for you, isn't it? Obviously, I feel bad because obviously I'm Come used on. to doing it. <clears throat> Come on. <laughs> yeah, the bitch. I've always been such an independent person and I'm struggling at the moment with the fact that Aaron's doing everything for me. Romeo, will you stop? Come on. <laughs> He's tired. That's what done. <laughs> Look at the muscles on him. Daddy's bulked Kid. you up. Bye. Lovely. Where's mine? Say bye. Bye. Love bye. you. The type of person Talia is, she likes to be 100 miles an hour and looking after everyone else, but the only person she needs to take care of right now is herself. How wet are we? Will the that be? She gets frustrated because she thinks after a huge operation she can just be herself and you can't. There's no need to rush. I don't know why she worries. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Today is the day that I am leading my very first live workout and to be honest, it's really taken my mind off this whole wedding travel situation. I just need to smash this class and prove to my fitness mentor, Tyler, that I am so ready to smash this career. And obviously, I've, I've seen how unfit I used to be. And then to think hair. now, from that to actually taking your own class, in my gym. Oh, no. I didn't want to said that from the start when you come in. You'd be like, absolutely not. I don't think so, mate. 18 months ago, I was literally the girl who was terrified to walk into a gym, who could barely even get into a squat, and now I'm about to lead my first ever live class. Like, it's just night and day. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm just sending this link to Sophie now. Sophie getting it in as well. Sophie's going to do it. Sophie and Letitia are going to be joining in with my very first live today. So as much as it makes it exciting, it adds so much more pressure. Like, I've seen you do this so many times. You'll smash it. 